Cannot deploy here. Cannot deploy here. Cannot deploy here. <laughs> Hey guys, Funnery here, back with another dev vlog. This video talks about polishing the building system along with various other improvements. Without wasting any of your precious time, let's get right into it. So yes, so yes, so yes, I improved the building system for unnamed modern military RTS. Since base building is one of the core pillars of gameplay and one of the easiest to implement, so of course this led me to improving the building system. So what have I done to improve the building system? Well, there's no checks in place to prevent building an infinite number of structures in the same spot. This already improved the strategy aspect of the game because now you have to manage the space in your base. So how might I go about creating a system like this? Well, at first I used an area node and every time a body enters that area, a check is done to see if it is in the group of units or the buildings group. This actually worked out, but there would be a weird ed case where if multiple things were overlapping and one thing was exited but not the other, then it would say you could build the structure there. That is absolutely unacceptable. So after this colossal failure, I tried something different. Something in the shape of a ray. That being a ray cast. I used a ray cast and just rotated it every frame. I thought this would work for some reason. Turns out I was wrong because it caused really weird flickering. So I decided to just ramp up the number of ray casts for. That did not work either. So I went back to using areas, except this time I use an array in conjunction with the area. Every frame I check if the array size is greater than zero, and if it is, then you can't build building there. Okay cool, we have collision checks, now what? Well let's make the buildings cost money. This was pretty simple, I just added a cost variable to the building data. When the blueprint spawns the actual building, that cost is subtracted from the global amount of money. Okay, and this did not actually limit the amount of building. So before we spawn the building, we check if the player has the money. Nine. Here's some gameplay as spawning buildings. So we have an improved building system and a resource system, but if you paid attention, you might notice that we have no way to make our money back. Let's fix that. How would I go about that? Well, there are two ways to make money back. The first way is resource structures. If you build a resource structure, then every second an amount of resource is added to your reserve. I decide to use a resource per minute variable and just divide it by 60. I'll probably change this in the future to resources per second, but right now it works, so there's no reason to change it. The other way to make some money back is selling structures. Every popular Command & Conquer game has this feature, so I want it. I did have to change some scripts not related to the building system. I switched to a state machine to store states. Currently, there is only three states, those being normal, build mode, and of course, cell mode. This is much more flexible than just having a bunch of booleans for the state. So when you toggle cell mode using the toggle in the UI, it switches the current state to cell mode. If you are in its cell mode, then whenever you click a building, it destroys the building and adds half of its cost back to your resource reserve. Let's take a look at a clip of selling buildings. One minor tweak I made is causing the units to face the direction of travel. This is subtle for cubes, but will really make the game more polished in the future. You might notice this jittery and that's because I switched the pathfinding to A star, but I'm currently thinking about changing it back to navigation meshes and using context-based steering. I'm not sure if the jittering would be noticeable with proper models, however. Cue gameplay for everything I talked about in this devlog. <laughs> That shall be it for this devlog. If you want more, then subscribe and smash the like button. That is it, Fun Uber.